Hello there, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. So today I have a very rare reading for all of you. We have a powerful planetary alignment that is happening on April the 20th. Jupiter is going conjunct Uranus in the sign of Taurus. This happens once every 13 years, everyone, and these two planets combined, there's a powerful energy at play. Jupiter being a planet of good luck and abundance, and Uranus being a planet of revolutions, fast developments, and surprises, we're going to see a lot of things unfolding in our lives. I'm going to find out for you exactly what this means for you. So today, I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card for, from Messages from the Spirits of Nature Oracle, and then an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Virgo, let's call in spirit and open up your reading, my friends, and see what it is that spirit would like you to know around this conjunction. So we are getting for you shine bright. It's time for you to shine bright, Virgo. Let me read you the message on this card. So it's never a mistake to give of yourself, Virgo. Some will take it for granted. Others may take advantage of it. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. So look at that. I'm going to read this to you one more time. It's never a mistake to give of yourself, Virgo. Some will take it for granted. Others may take advantage of it. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. Okay, so shine bright no matter what, everyone. Okay, so this is your opening message. I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot cards as well and see what else it is that spirit wants to share with you today, Virgo. All right, we are getting for you three of cups. This uh, energy of community, oneness, connection, friendships, bonds, relationships. I feel there's so much of this energy around you right now. Some of you might be finding yourselves leaning on support, uh, spending some time with others, with family perhaps, spending more time at work with your co-workers. Um, it's a beautiful energy or feeling the need to want to spend time with somebody. This is a very warm and comforting energy that has come into your life here, Virgo. So the three of cups for you to start. I love this for you. Seven of wands. Perhaps you're feeling challenged around some of the energies that might be around you, Virgo. So we've got um, some of you that are kind of feeling challenged here, feeling like things just aren't right. You're not just feeling good energetically, but you're picking up vibes from others as well. Remember, we are still going through Mercury retrograde, so you might be picking up on these energies, Virgo. So the Seven of Wands here. Um, you're highly intuitive at this time as well, Virgo. We have the Seven of Swords. Get this, you've got some double sevens today. So perhaps some of you are seeing the number sevens in your life. It's a spiritual number, a number of God, a number of connection to spirit, right? So there's a connection or a need or want of connection here. There's something that you're holding on to that you also have to let go of here, Virgo. So what is this that you're holding on to? We're going to take a look at this card. So the Seven of Swords here. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, Virgo, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Seven of Swords here. 
Wow, the double sevens, introspection, looking inward here. I, I feel there is a reactive energy around some of you and this might be challenging you in some way. So patience is going to be your superpower at this time. So just be careful of how you are reacting to these energies, how you are choosing to allow them to affect your life as well, Virgo. So before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Virgo. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So powerful energy at play here for you. I'm just seeing a lot of smoke. Oh, this is coming from here. Oh my gosh. That's never happened before, by the way. So all of a sudden I'm seeing smoke from the side of my eyes. Um, very interesting. I don't know if any of you are seeing smoke from the side of your eyes, but there's I, this is the first time I'm experiencing this so maybe my lights are way too bright right now uh, maybe you're seeing things in vivid colors as well so this is maybe why I'm seeing things more vividly here is because I'm picking it up from some of you out there so you'll have to share with me here if you're finding lighting to be a bit different around you so look at this community this feeling of comfort this feeling of being a part of a tribe um, having loving relationships and connections interacting with people exchanging of energies this is all around you at this time Virgo and I feel that some of you are really enjoying these moments in your life there's a sense of oneness the sense of connection uh, collective right energy it's so beautiful so some of you might be surrounding yourselves in groups maybe you're a part of a tribe maybe you're somebody that doesn't like to fly solo maybe you have this need to be around people and that's there's nothing wrong with that we are all human this is a part of us right wanting to connect with others so I feel this is really um, deep within you and you're, you're feeling this energy at this time. So perhaps you're spending more time with your family or friends, um, connecting with others, shopping with them. Perhaps you're going on a girls or boys trip. I'm just seeing this gathering and uh, getting together and just having fun here. Travel as well for some of you in groups. Um, those of you that are kind of working out at home, this is what spirit guides are showing me is me working out at home, is to maybe, if especially if it's not working out for you, if you're having a hard time with this, they're wanting you to join a group of people. For example, I joined yoga. I was doing yoga at home and I found that it's just me, so I just wasn't dedicated to it. So now that I've joined a yoga class, I'm in that environment and we're all doing the same thing. So it's that collective energy, that connection with everyone else who's in the same kind of vibe and energy as you. So to align yourselves with um, these kind of things in your life. I'm seeing some of you visiting beaches, traveling to different places that have a lot of people, gatherings, festivals, uh, celebrations here, weddings, birthdays, all of these things that are coming up. So I just feel things are getting more lively in your life. This is such a wonderful experience. Spirit guides are really wanting you to kind of delve into this and just kind of move around with this energy just to feel it. That way when you're in a space or energy that might not feel like this, you can go back to this energy and pull it back into your life. This is ultimately what spirit guides are wanting you to do here. Rituals are very powerful. So if you're if you're able to implement some sort of um, ritual, like a sacred ritual in your life around energies that you pick up along the way here. So those of you that are empaths, you completely understand what I'm talking about here. It's energies of other people. Sometimes we don't know if it's our energy or others and we feel a certain way. Perhaps we have a headache because we're picking up on someone else's headache, right? It almost feels like sympathy pains, okay? Um, so what I do in my own life is I have a sacred ritual. It's my nightly ritual. I take a shower every single night and I just wash away the day's energy. This works really well. I just imagine the energy that I've picked up, everything I went through, and I just imagine it falling away with the water. So try this for yourself, but even any kind of a practice that you use for cleansing, cleansing your energy, even just your space, clearing it out with sage or incense, of your choice, right? So this is coming through community. Uh, I feel some of you are more involved with your community or you're a part of a group. Maybe this is your children's school. Um, 
uh, maybe it's a high school, university here. You're involved with family members. I'm seeing you involved with a lot of things that is tied to your heart center, something that you believe in, that you stand for. And you're doing this maybe as a volunteer, Virgo. So I'm seeing some of you doing some extra work outside of your actual career, your job, right? these extra extra things being of service here being around community this could also be in your church right maybe you're picking up more time at your church doing things to help out right these kind of things um working in groups i'm seeing some of you out in parks uh even out in the mountains here so a lot of beautiful connection to earth here with this card communication for you is also going to be very power speak powerful speaking your truth here virgo sometimes i say words because there's a lot of words that are wanting to come out at once so this is why i sometimes slur my words here everyone um communicating your thoughts and your feelings feeling good like it's hard sometimes to express yourself in the way that you need to or want to your self-expression because of feeling judged this is where spirit guides are not wanting you to be brave and courageous and not feel shameful for being who you are and expressing yourself in the way that you want to okay so we got the seven of wands here this is you protecting your energy this is also energy that is external to you that might affect you as you're moving through your life and your day-to-day -day life little little things that can irk you little things that can throw a wedge in your day things that really um, piss us off sometimes right these are the kind of things that are showing up in some of your lives and again this has to do with mercury retrograde everyone you are fired up you are powered you are highly intuitive don't let these energies get the best of you here virgo you are very strong remember that have some healthy boundaries around people and remember that no is a complete sentence okay you don't have to go to any energy or go to any energy go to an event or do something that you don't feel like doing or are in alignment with okay so if someone's pushing you to do something remember that no is a very powerful word it's also a complete sentence um, grounding yourselves using grounding techniques um, perhaps you're feeling challenged somewhere maybe there's some ruffled feathers somewhere in your life whether your own or someone else's remember that reactions right now are not going to be um, authentic because of mercury retrograde so what's happening is we all are going through reactive energies that we're dealing with so perhaps someone has a delay in their life or a setback or something's happened and they're not dealing with it really well and they come into your energy space and try to recreate havoc with their energy this is where you're kind of like okay you know what I'm going to come from a place of love and compassion kindness see what's going on with this person I'm not going to react with this energy but I will be an observer and a listener so asking questions is better than actually conversing at this time and some of you might have techniques that are working for you around this mercury retrograde that you can share with us in the comment section below how do you tread this energy virgo of mercury retrograde patience i find is always the best superpower that we can have but if you have other suggestions again i would love to hear it so don't let your feathers be ruffled here everyone um, stay strong through this energy this month of April there's a lot of power that is coming to us a lot of energy that is available for us blessings and opportunities to create to let go of the old so sometimes what happens is we have a challenging time letting go um, maybe that's the challenge some of you are facing is letting go when you know something isn't working for you but you enjoy it in your life and you know you have to let it go that letting go can be hard right so be compassionate towards yourselves but also commit to releasing this and follow through with that virgo um, i'm seeing challenges with people again coming up here for you so perhaps a family member maybe a co-worker maybe this is a spouse communication here is very important so uh, allowing uh, spirit guides are showing me someone that is allowing themselves to be um, an energy for cha channeling energy here where you're allowing this person to release energy to release it out of their own life by asking again questions and coming from a place of love compassion and kindness it's a different approach to dealing with these energies and I feel some of you are doing really well at 
kind of balancing yourself and being in a place where you are the receiver of the energy and not the reactor. So very powerful here, um, how you are embracing Mercury retrograde here, uh, Virgo. I want to say Gemini. I feel a Gemini is around you. Perhaps you have Gemini somewhere in your birth chart, Virgo. But Gemini is wanting to jump in here like really, really quickly. So perhaps there is a quick energy that might be challenging you and uh, maybe it feels a little bit flaky and unpredictable. So um, perhaps this is the energy that is making you feel a little bit uncomfortable. I'm definitely picking up on some discomfort here. So perhaps you're out of your comfort zone as you're going through these shifts of energies in your life. So again, remain grounded here. Breathe through this. Any thoughts or energy that is going towards thought here, especially thought that is putting you in a negative state here, Virgo is the thought that you want to transfer out of your mind. So transfer it out by putting it onto a sheet of paper, journaling, writing these things down. Um, very, very important that you practice this in your life, Virgo. I know sometimes writing, uh, I remember... There's a point in my life where I hated writing. I'm like, I don't want to write anything. <laughs> I just don't want to write things in my mind because I don't know what to what to write. Like, what do I write? So now when I am writing things, I will write down the things that annoyed me or frustrated me, the things that went wrong, because that's the stuff that is in our minds that's creating this emotion of feeling not so good. Um, and here's that not feeling so good energy as well. What is going on here with you, Virgo? Share with me, what is this energy of the Seven of Swords? These are things and thoughts, burdens, heavy energy that you're carrying around. And some of you are carrying it secretly. Why are you doing this to yourself, Virgo? This is a lot of weight. This is energy where you're, you're in this heaviness. You're carrying this. You have no room to open up for anything else in your life. So... If you take a look here, there's source energy. There's a connection that's wanting to take place. But because you have all of these swords that you're carrying, I feel that you're not recognizing or you're not, not able to get a good connection to spirit. So these could be beliefs about yourself, doubts, limiting beliefs, things that people have said to you that you believe to be true that you're carrying around with you, things from your childhood, again, that you believe to be true because you saw it, you heard it, but because it was a different perception, different eyes that you were looking at, if you were to relook at that situation from a fresh, fresh set of eyes, it would be different. And I know this is hard to do is to go back and look, but sometimes we need to put ourselves in a, someone else's shoes um, in a different lens to see kind of what was actually taking place. And I feel this is you that have um, a lot of shadows built up. You're kind of suppressing these emotions, these feelings and the thoughts there, but you're not allowing the emotions to release themselves. Interesting energy here. I feel this is Mercury retrograde popping in right now. It's completely throwing me off. Everything that I just spoke has been wiped out of my mind. Isn't that interesting? This happens sometimes. So we've got this beautiful connection, this community here for you. Um, the Seven of Wands and we got the Seven of Swords. Wow. I don't know if any of you are feeling confused right now because I feel like I was just this energy was chucked at me right now and I, it splatted all over me. So I'm picking up on confusion here right now. And I feel that maybe there's confusion in a circle, a group of people, connections here. Um, I feel some of you are trying to connect the dots here with this energy as well. And what is this that you're holding on to? You have to release this. I feel it's really hard for you, Virgo, to release whatever this energy is. And maybe you're protecting yourself from it. I feel some of you feel like you're intuitive right now, but with this energy, I feel the connection is coming in, but you're not fully connected. Okay, so maybe there's confusion because of this coming in. That is so interesting that I felt that energy just splat onto my head and it totally knocked my um, connection right out. That was so weird. Um, yeah, very interesting here. I feel this partially the solar eclipse. I am filming this a day after the solar eclipse, everyone. So that energy is definitely going to be in our lives um, for a little while here. I believe for about six months, if not longer. Okay, so know that we have a lot of different kinds of energies around us. Those of you that are seeing the numbers sevens and threes, again, this is a confirmation for you. So anytime you're seeing the number three in your life, speaking up. It's about communication, expressing yourself. 
okay, this is a reminder from spirit. It's time for you to speak up because maybe there's something happening in your life that might not um, be feeling comfortable and you need to speak up about it. Or perhaps there's something that you're holding on to. This is also secrets, everyone. Secrets that you're holding, things that you're not being truthful about. You're holding on to things and you're not, you're not allowing yourself to be open here. This is closed energy. So spirit guides are wanting you to open yourself up here to spirit, but also um, to other energies that are actually loving and caring towards you because I'm seeing someone trying to communicate or support you in some way here, Virgo, but I, I feel you're closed off. Like something's happened where you're not feeling like you're connected. There's a disconnect here. So they're wanting you to live through your fullest potential, through your source energy, fully connected here, Virgo. So those of you that are experiencing this a little bit darker energy here, um, it doesn't feel good, right? If you're feeling this, uh, I feel ground your energy, ask spirit to connect with you, release whatever it is that you're thinking. I'm getting shoulders like this. So there's like tense energy around you as well. Like maybe you're just feeling really tense here. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe this is fear. Whatever this is, again, write down your thoughts. This is stuff that is in your mind that is creating the emotion of fear, that is creating these not so good emotions. It's in your mind. So take all of that energy out of your mind, transfer it onto a sheet of paper with a pen, and maybe even look at it. I feel some of you are confronting your shadows here. This is a time for us to do some shadow work, this energy of the solar eclipse. Uh, we've got so many different planetary alignments where, yes, some of us are having to tap into our shadows and unbox some of those. So this is a spiritual healing, a spiritual journey for some of you. And um, you're aware of this, some of you. You know what it is that you're going through right now. So embrace this journey, everyone. There's something so much bigger and better coming out of this, okay? So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to pull a bonus card from the messages from the Spirits of Nature Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So uh, if there's anything else that Spirit is wanting to share with you, this is going to come through this card today. Okay, so we are getting for you Virgo. Rain, renewal. So look at this rain. I don't know if any of you are seeing rain falling right now as you are watching this reading. Perhaps it's been very rainy where you live. Um, maybe rain is of significance in your life in some way. Maybe there's some meaning for you around rain. So the number 29. This is a number of significance for some of you. Perhaps you are born on the 29th here, uh, Virgo. Uh, I'm getting uh, two to nine days, two to nine months, and also the 29th of the month, okay? So the number 29 here for you. Let's pull the interpretation, read that. I don't know if any of you are seeing these flowers in this image. This is also a confirmation for you today. Perhaps you're a gardener and you have these uh, plants in your garden, Virgo. All right, so the message here for you today is you're finding yourself in a process of renewal that will require nothing short of complete revamp of your life from your work to your relationships, Virgo. Even the relationship with yourself and with your higher self, you're being, you've been feeling the strong and steady pull to do so, while at the same time noticing a resistance to making these changes out of fear of the unknown. So that's what this is, is fear of the unknown for some of you. It's challenging to surrender to these urgings of spirit and in spite of the fear, take the actions needed to move forward into the next cycle of renewal, Virgo. Remind yourself that there have been many times throughout your life you have courageously faced opportunities to revitalization and succeeded in doing so regardless of any initial resistance or perceived blockages. A way to experience how this recycling and renewal process is naturally is natural is is by making every drink of fresh water a mindful one. Virgo, take every sip slowly with gratitude, reminding yourself of the everlasting water cycle of the earth. Pause and feel how the, how the water moves throughout your body, refreshing and renewing every cell with the lifeblood that is so necessary for you and so many other beings on the planet. So it's time to renew your body, your mind, body, and soul. It's about your wellness here, Virgo. And some of you are being reminded to drink more water, Virgo. So look at that. All right, let's pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting here for you. 
important shift. So 9999, some of you may have been seeing these numbers. I'm getting nine days, nine weeks, and nine months around the message of this card. Perhaps some of you might be seeing the colors in this card somewhere in your life as well. So you are going through an important shift right now, Virgo. You are overcoming challenges at this time as well. You're meant to. So tap into that courage. Be brave here, Virgo, and know that you are growing through this situation, this challenge. You are mastering wisdom at this time as well. There's a discovery that is happening here. You are on a spiritual journey and there are tons and tons of blessings that are along your path here, okay? So important shift, Virgo. I just wanted to sneak in here really quickly and show you this beautiful magic intention candle that my sister-in-law made. I'm super obsessed with this right now. It is her spring collection for Mother's Day. Uh, the link for this is in the description box below, everyone. There is a limited supply, so grab these while you can. Look at how beautiful these are. I just love them. So uh, again, link is in the description box below. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.